Good day to all of you, my friends and brothers and sisters in Christ. I hope you all are having a wonderful day and that our Lord and Savior, Christ Jesus, is keeping you safe. Amen. Um, and we thank God that we get an opportunity to always come and share uh, this breadcrumb with you because uh, God blesses us. And as we often say, as he freely gives, we also give you. Amen. So that you may be edified in the word. Amen. And, you know, if you have any additions to uh, 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 edify us uh, do write down in the comments so that we can all edify each other that is the purpose of walking together in faith that we may all uplift one another in the faith pray for one another in the faith so that we may all grow together in the faith amen but uh, today our breadcrumb is coming from philemon chapter one and we uh, uh, we, we see uh, what paul uh, was doing here, um, bringing reconciliation between a slave and his master under a different banner. Amen. The banner of love for our Savior. But here, um, Paul appeals to Philemon and tells Philemon to uh, allow Onesimus to return to him. You see, when Onesimus uh, escaped from his master, uh, which is what uh, happened, uh, I think that uh, is accounted in verse 15 of, of this book. Uh, he escaped to Paul. And when he met Paul, of course, Paul's, Paul raised him up in the word of God. And Onesimus grew to love the Lord Jesus. And so by that, Paul decided to send Onesimus back to Philemon because he knew they needed to reconcile. Um, they needed to make things right amongst themselves. Amen. And so it's amazing what Paul says in verse, six, six, uh, verse 15 to 16. He says, For perhaps he departed for a while for this purpose, that you might receive him forever, no longer as a slave, but more than a slave, a beloved brother, especially to me, but by much more to you, both in the flesh and in the Lord. Amen. You know, when I read the Bible, I always pay attention to the word that has been spoken when it says in the Lord. That is to be the reason we are united. You know, that is to be the reason why we love each other. Being in the Lord is the reason why we are to communicate and commune in fellowship together. Amen. Because the Bible tells us in Philippians 2 that we are to put on the mind of Jesus. And it's in putting on the mind of Jesus that we are united and that we become brothers. Because we are part of the same family. Amen. So we see here that Paul is now saying, okay, don't no longer receive him as a slave, but as a brother. Why? Because we see in verse 5 that Paul says Philemon was a man of faith. He heard about his faith. Uh, verse 5 says, hearing of your love and faith, which you have towards the Lord Jesus Christ and towards all saints. So if Philemon had the love for all saints, well, it therefore mean that it therefore means that he was also to have love for Onesimus, who was now a saint in the Lord. Amen. And by that love, the way they consider each other as brothers, no longer as master and slaves. And so now this speaks a lot to a bigger picture. In our society and in our culture, where slavery is still being a topic uh, spoken of, we see the very intent of God's heart. God doesn't desire that they may they should be a master or a slave. Amen. And I think many people have really um, uh, uh, confused um, the Bible when they read in some areas where. Uh, 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 God seemingly talks about slaves and masters. 
But remember that there were two kinds of slaves in those days. Uh, there were slaves uh, by way of indentured servitude, and there were other slaves that were forced into slavery. So indentured servitude just means that it is it is a, a one who gives himself up uh, to be a slave uh, for the purpose of paying a debt or so, because in those days, people who, you know, owed you and were not able to pay you would give themselves up as slaves so that they could pay their debt for a period of time. Amen. So oftentimes when the Bible will talk of slaves, yes, it'll talk sometimes about those who gave themselves up and those who were forced into slave. Amen. So let us be careful and pay attention to how we read the Bible and let it speak to our hearts to know that at the end of it all, that is not the purpose of creation where men asserted the authority forcefully on other people. I mean, Paul showed us here that he could have done that. He could have spoken in authority and told him, hey, you do this. But for the sake of love, we should be the intention of every Christian, the very motive of every Christian as to why we do what we do for one another. It should be from a place of love. Paul said, for the sake of love, he appealed to Philemon. In verse 8 to 9, he appealed to Philemon so that Philemon will receive Onesimus again. So, brothers and sisters, we are seeing how, even though Paul had the authority to do what he, uh, 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 he, 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 he could do, but he, he, he chose the route of love. You know, because love is not under compulsion. Amen. Love is free. And when you do it free, it's more, it's, 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 it, it has more meaning to it. That is the whole uh, 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 reason why God gave us free will. So that we might exercise our love towards him. Amen. But again, not towards him forcefully, towards him by choice. That's why some people choose to kill. Some people choose to hate. Some people choose to sin. Amen. So uh, let us, you know, understand the whole word of God. God has never really loved slavery because that was not in his initial purpose when he created humanity. It was so that he could commune with us and that we might, we might, you know, get an opportunity to experience his love. And by that love that we will experience from him, we will then reciprocate by loving him back. All out of your free will. So Paul was really appealing to the, to the, to the free will of, of Anesima, for, of, of uh, Philemon, pardon me, that Philemon would use that free will, knowing that he is in the body of Christ, and he has love for the saints, amen, that he too will come to love Onesimus, who has now become a, 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 a follower of Jesus Christ, sanctified by his blood, and now can be called a saint. And so Philemon should therefore love him too as a saint and receive him as a brother. So this is to speak to all of us. Amen. You know, this also can be used to talk about those who are indebted to others. Amen. You know, if this man has become a, 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 a lover of the Lord Jesus Christ and you can test the spirit in him, love him and, and gracefully forgive his dad, you know, and, and, and be brothers in Christ. Amen. Don't hold anyone in your heart. Amen. Because that could have very well been Philemon, uh, Philemon's uh, 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 condition uh, uh, of his heart. He could have he could have been holding Onesimus, uh, you know, uh, 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 with with some uh, uh, contention. But you know, Paul appeals to his heart. You now are brothers, brothers in Christ, following the Lord Jesus Christ fervently and in love. Amen. So by that relationship. Both of you now are to become brothers and sisters or brothers. Amen. Right? So let us take from this story and understand that, you know, nothing should separate us. Not our past hurts, not our debt to each other. Nothing should separate us. Rather, we should show love and mercy to one another and forgiving each other's debt, just like Christ forgave your debt. Amen. Your debt of sin on the cross. Praise the Lord and I. I hope that all of you receive this message and just in your heart, amen. Think of someone who has offended you or you may have offended and get right with them. You know, our days on this earth are short. We don't want to have resentment against each other and hold grudges against each other. Rather, 
We are to live in love for one another. Praise the Lord and God bless you all.